And we are back. Today is Tuesday, February the 7th. What we have here is a PlayStation 5 that I bought yesterday. And it needs an HDMI port replacement. Okay, well, just checking my YouTube, making sure it was working. Um, so what we will do here is, like always, the HDMI port replacement. Before I bought it from the customer, I did test it and make sure it did power on. Where we do have a white solid light. So the system does power up. And we will be changing the HDMI port. So let's get to it right back under the hand cam. Let's go. Let's move these joysticks. They both came with it. And let's go ahead and flip this this side. And okay. It'll be a quick little 30 minute video. Who got a deal, my man? Me? Actually, the cheapest in the city, which I'm not proud of, because there's people here practicing on other folks' systems and doing a shitty ass job. But my price is 135 plus tax. Same day repair on most systems. This is a digital version that I bought. It's not a disc version. Pay two hundred for it. These are brand new for three ninety nine. So I paid a little bit too much, but I got an extra controller. That's why I actually gave him that two hundred. But it's still a deal. I would be able to sell. This is the new board. This is the new motherboard. This is the new design on the PlayStation Five. I seen a version. My last video was like this, and they had a disk drive. Now, less screws on this one, so it's going to be faster. Yeah, that's cheap, my man. Where I'm at, we have over a hundred shops around me in Memphis. 
to stop doing new consoles because people can't take care of them. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's on them. They can't take care of them. And this one doesn't have physical damage from the outside. This one does not have any physical damage from the outside. Nothing. So this one right here probably be just some loose pins on the back side. This is original. Nobody been in it. This is brand new system. Imagine it's a retirement chip on this one that's went bad. Then colder chip. We'll tell right now as soon as we look at the HDMI port on the inside. Make sure all the pins are soldered down. I have a few screws on this motherboard. It has three, the other one had two. The older version. I actually love this little motherboard on this PlayStation 5. Let's go under the scope. <sighs> yep, and all the pins are loose. We got the first one. I'm not just gonna resolder the pins. I'm gonna just replace the whole port because all the ports that we supply, I think, are a little better. The first one is loose. Second one is on. Third one is on. Fourth one on. Fifth one is loose. Sixth one loose. Seven one loose. Eight, nine, ten. So you got ten loose pads. Eleven. 12, 13, but the good thing, I think they're not broken pads, only just loose, so let's go ahead and take them out, and we're not going to be jumping no missing pads, I'm hoping not, alright, I'll start doing more motherboard repairs on high-end laptops, damn man, that's crazy, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply low melt solder on these pins. You can find this low melt solder at Northridge Fix. And just a little bit just to mix it in and that's it.
you don't need that much flux on there. I mean, that much solder paste on it. Well, yeah, this one is an HDMI port. Gonna take about two, three minutes. I can see the solder right here melt. That low solder there you go melted on this side. And all of these pins are already melted. And one, two, three. Let's go ahead and wick this motherboard while it's still hot. I like to wick mine. Now we're gonna have to use more wick on this one. Let me cut it and use the new fresh. Wait. All right, one more piece of new wick and should have both holes wet, or all four holes wet. Ouch, I just touched that hot ass HDMI port. All right, let's flip it around. If not, we can just poke it and it should be good. Just probably be a thin layer. Let's get one more piece of wick. You don't need that much uh, low milk. One little stick lasts me about a week of work. You just need a little bit, you know, you don't solder with that low milk. I'm just going to whip the rest of them using one of these old wicks. Probably need a little heat. Yeah. Let me go grab a new port and I'll be right back. I right, got a new HDMI port. Excel. I'm doing fine. How are you? That's good.
Yeah, we're not buying them at the moment. Yep. Yeah, you can try that machine at Walmart. Yeah, at Walmart on Winchester, that big uh, super center. They have a little machine inside that will buy broken phones. Yes. I, I, I don't know, man. So you'll have to go up there and check it out. Alright. Asking me how much that machine will give him for his broken phones. Alright, just hold it down in spot while we get a few pins soldered. Let me get some more solder on my iron. Okay. All right, got the pin soldered down. And let's flip it on the other side. These are the pins. Let me clean this little tweezer. So these are the pins and they are all solid. You can see this solder floats from top to bottom on them. And they should be good to go. Yep. So let's go ahead and flip it. On this version, they have a resistor close to these little angers, which is not a smart idea from some. Let me just add a little more flux so the stuff can float in right. And then we can clean all that flux from inside that port. And we have a customer. Oh, no, that was my brother. Let me check the other side real quick. Yep, that should do. And that's good enough. Sexy, huh? All right. 
back under the hand cam. I'm going to just put it together just enough to test it and we're going to go ahead and end the live. I had four viewers this time watching live. I appreciate all of you guys supporting this little baby channel. All right, I don't think we need to put the metal shield. I can go ahead and connect it to the TV. We just put these. We're not going to connect the fan, so let's go ahead to that TV. That should be good. Turn on the TV. We'll get the HDMI cable, plug it in. Then we'll get the power cable, plug it in. I'm going to set the system on the side so I don't keep moving the cable on my TV. And let's go ahead and press the power button. And now we have blue light. Still have blue light. And it's loading up, but we still have blue and white light blinking right now. But it is loading up on the TV. And give it another few seconds so we can turn back on. And it's on. Hello? Yeah, that's fine. All right. We're done with this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. And hope so we can do more than just HDMI ports. I mean, I do a lot of repairs. I don't want to sit down here and doing an iPhone 12 or 13 for two, three hours on live. I don't like editing my videos. But we'll have to work some out. I have to make some time for stuff like that. So thanks for watching and come on back again Oh, it's still on. Hey, peace.